Hello, so we are back. First day, and it's a beautiful day outside. Today will be like 20 degrees, sun. We have a customer job here. Now check this laptop. This is a nice Asus laptop. So check here. i5 Asus ZenBook. Uh, Harman Kardon uh, audio speakers. This is a proper nice one, you can see. Okay, what this laptop is doing, basically, we are pressing a power button, nothing happened. And the customer is saying like that, yeah? Uh, hi there, I have my wife laptop, which stopped charging. It's only 18 months, 18 months old, and unluckily, out of the Asus warranty. Asus ZenBook UX 363J, the charger is okay as the char as is charged the other USB devices. When I plug the charger uh, into any of the two charging ports, the charger LED stays off. Okay, I believe here, yeah. I suspect it's a short to ground somewhere. Will you be able to fix it and how much it will cost? Okay, that's fantastic, okay. Now let's check what the customer is saying. The customer is saying, if I plug the charger, the light stays off, so he suspect it's a short somewhere. Yeah, the light stays off, you can see. I don't know, my meter is good. One second. Yeah, my meter is fine. So the customer is kind of right. The second, the second port is working. 5 volts, 0 0.18. That means it's non negotiating the voltage. So clearly, here is a problem. So on this board is displaying, and on this board is doing nothing. Okay? Okay, so on this board we do we do have the the laptop is enabled the, the charging, but it's non negotiating the voltage. So I will say, let's open the laptop. Uh, let's try to have a look inside. Indeed, it's like new. No one opened the screws. Proper nice laptop. Let's open and have a look. Okay, so the back cover, it's out. Wow, it's looking like new inside. Now check here. Check here. Fan with metal blades, you can see. That's so nice. Proper nice. Proper nice. Nice board. Wait, I remember I had one like this. <laughs> you know what? I remember now. I could not fix it. So I did have uh, one from. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, you remember? We had one from the customer. And it was this chip, and I could not fix it because that chip, I believe, has to be programmed or something like that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's remove the battery because I believe this was not reset before. Remove the battery. BIOS battery? No BIOS battery, right? No. Good. Let's plug back the battery. Actually, let's check the main power rail. I don't know why customer believing this can be shorted. Uh, no, it's not shorted. The main power rail is not shorted. No. No, the main power rail is not shorted. Plug in the battery back. Let's plug the USB power meter back. Okay, this port was working before. Same 5 volts, 180 milliamps. Nothing changed, but you can't see. Yeah, and on this one, on this one is not working. Okay, let's come with the power supply because I don't like to work with discharge batteries. Let's charge the battery a little bit, and the battery is taking 800 milliamps. Good, let's raise the current. Yeah, 2 amps, yeah, 1.8 amps. Let's charge the battery a little bit. Okay. 
global on this port. Now here we have nothing, so probably here is the port or one of those ships, one this ship probably. But yeah, the laptop is dead. I mean, it's not speaking with my uh, with my PD controller. Good. Let's check with the multimeter. Let's see. So the main power rail is 14 volts. Wait. Do you think? No, it's not coming on. No, it's not coming on. Okay, we have our, our, our nice uh, uh, Super IO chip. The EC chip is there. Should be 3.3 there. So let's check. I believe it's a good start point, the EC chip. So we know, even though we don't have schematic, we know there should be 3.3 at least. Yeah. So let's have a look and try to find if the EC chip has 3.3. Yeah, that's the one. It's a nice IT chip. Let's see what voltage do we have around this chip. Here we have like a big power rail and we have nothing. Yeah, okay. And here we have a capacitor. And we have nothing. And here we have another capacitor and we have nothing. And here it's a big power rail. You can see a big truck here. And we have nothing. So uh, safe to say we have nothing on the IO chip, right? Huh? What do you think? I mean, I'm curious. You will start from a different... Uh, how you will start? I'm interested to see how the people are approaching the repair. Like I, I, was, I said that on the last video. I mean, for me, personal, the way to go is to start in from what we know. So what we know about this laptop? Basically nothing, because we don't have schematic. But we know the EC chip should have 3.3. That's what we know. We know the power main power rail should be present, which it is. Yeah. So the 3.3 volts is missing. So what are we going to do? What are we gonna do? <laughs> the problem is I have no idea what I was gonna do. Uh, clearly the 3.3 is missing. So what are we gonna do? I'll unplug the charger because I have to know before I uh, proceed playing with the power supply on a motherboard. I need few common points around the IO chip, yeah? Common points. So it doesn't have to be ground. Yeah, that's ground, that's plus, good. So this one, let's see, common point with this one, nothing. Okay. Uh, we need another common point. This one, nothing. This one, nothing. We have no common points here. This one with this one, yeah. This one with this one here is common point. So here, probably is 3.3. Let's come with the 3.3. Uh, around 3 volts, very low current, yeah? Very low current. Only the power supply can protect you against your own mistakes, yeah? And it's taking 400 milliamps, 400 milliamps. That's bad. That's proper bad. Let me stick the ground somewhere. Where should I put the ground? Where should I put the ground? Here? Here? It's not sitting there. Here? It's not staying there. I'll come with a plus. Here. And it's taking 440 milliamps. You can see on the screen? 440. Let me switch. Yeah. So let's power on the thermal camera because whatever is taking 400 milliamps is gone. 
You agree with me? No, I can't see anything. Here, 440 milliamps. Which is a lot. And that's good. The current is not taken by the AC chip, you can see. Nothing there. LOL, check there, check there. What do you think is that? What do you think is that chip? Is this one. This one. This one. So you see, the chip which is supposed to supply LDO voltage is burned. Let's have a look at this chip. And I had same problem last time. Same problem last time. Yeah, this one. TPS. Oh, lol, is the one? Okay, yes, it is. DJ. You see, exactly. You remember the video where, where I said, I'm stopped buying parts from China? Same chip, DJ. You can see it? So, what do I have? I have I have a chip DH, which is not supporting Thunderbolt 3. But I will, I'm curious to see if it will work on this one. <laughs> So let's desolder this chip quickly. Let's desolder this chip and replace this chip with the DH one. No, it's nothing else. This chip is gone. Nothing else. This chip. The problem is, this chip is kind of you know like a hybrid thing. It's working with software, and it's reading uh, the other uh, memory chip. So, not sure if it will work, but we can try. Let's take out this chip. Take it out for a date. Okay, so we remove the chip. Now let me find the other chip. I'm pretty sure I have it here somewhere. I'm pretty sure I have it here. Right, that's the one. This is DH, yeah, that's the one. DH. So this chip must be good. This chip must be good. Let me clean it quickly. Good. Let's put the chip there. And we are ready. Let's solder the chip. Good. Let's come with some flux. Perfect, okay? Perfect. Now is the moment to try, yeah? Let's cool down the board. So what do you think? It will work or not? Hmm? This is a good question. Okay, let's plug the battery. Let's plug the charger. And no. <laughs> it's doing exactly like what he does on that laptop. 5 volts and about 0 0.03 milliamps. 
And the other one, now the other one is working, you can see. Now the other one is working. Nah. <sighs> okay, the 3.3 LDO. Let's check the 3.3 LDO. Uh, has to be here, yeah? And it's zero. Oh, lol. We have no LDO voltage. Okay, let's unplug the battery. Let's come with the power supply on the same spot. Yeah. Here. And it's not taking current anymore. You can see it's taking like 20 milliamps, which is fine. So the LDO is not shorted anymore. But still not working because this chip is not DH1. It's not DJ. DJ is the one which is supporting Thunderbolt 3. Okay, you know what I will do? I will take a break here and I will order the chip. And this time I will order the chip from a Mauser. The chip is about, I believe, like 18 pounds, something like that. And uh, yeah, let's replace the chip and see if it will work. Not sure about that. Because this chip also has some flash inside and uh, is speaking with this uh, memory. But clearly the whole chip was bad, yeah? So I'll order, I will order the chip and I will do the second part of this video. So see you on the next one. Bye. Hello, so we are back. And I just got a package. Let's see what we are fixing today. I start buying expensive components. So I order from uh, Mauser Electronics. Let's see what we have here. <coughs> Let's see what we are fixing today. I mean, I kind of, I kind of know what uh, what I order. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's a big bag. Nearly for nothing, but at least I can trust those kind of spares. I mean, clearly you can see it's a different story, even with the, the, the way how they are delivered. Oh yeah, oh yeah, one second. Okay, this is the MOSFET, okay. I know what's the story with that MOSFET. And this one, this one, how, how do you even open something like that? Hmm? How do you even open something like that? Or lol silica and here we have here we have the ISL chip yeah with the DJ at the end that's fantastic let me bring that laptop I believe it's a Dell if I remember I ordered the uh, those components probably like uh, three days ago they came with FedEx Okay, let me grab the laptop. Okay, so I believe I still have the first part of this video. And if I remember, I tried with the other chip, right? With the DH one. If I remember. Yeah, this one is the DH and it didn't work. You remember? The short was gone, but it didn't work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to desolder this one. And I'm so I will be soldering the new chip, yeah? The new chip is the one which has to be with the DJ at the end, that's meaning supporting Thunderbolt 3. And I'm curious if it's working, you know. So this is DH, this is uh, DJ, TPS65988. I'm curious because I try already, you remember the other laptop, I tried with the DH, didn't work. Then I ordered a, a DJ from China and it was like dead, dead.
and this is another laptop with the same burn chip yeah so let me grab a nozzle and let's remove the chip quickly quickly this should be an easy job if it's working if it's not working i don't know then then that means this chip has to be programmed because otherwise i can't see why this chip it will not work okay let's remove the chip quickly the chip position is like that okay So we remove the chip. Let's come with a new chip. Just a little bit of flux, a little bit. A little bit of flux, if I can find it. Yes, it's here. Just a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. And we have the brand new chip which is the DJ1 with the pin number one there. Yeah, that's fine. Good. Let me lower the temperature a little bit. Yeah. Uh, don't tell me this chip is not getting soldered, huh? No, this ship is fine. Look, it's getting soldered nicely. Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully it will work. If it will not work, it does fine. We can remove the chip one more time. Check. It's fine. It's no rush. No problem. So I have to grab the USB meter. We have to grab the USB cable. USB-C. USB-C cable. Remember, this is a customer job. The customer already asked if I have any news regarding the laptop. I told him, you know what, I ordered the chip. Well, it's not much what I can do more, just to wait for the chip and check if it's working. If it's not working, I swear, this, this is a big issue. Because probably those chips has to be programmed. I mean, they have a memory connected straight to the chip, so it's supposed the chip to read that memory, but we never know. Okay, so let's plug the battery. Good. Let's plug the charger. And it's taking nothing. Same like the D, D, the, the DH chip. Like nothing. That's insane. That means we cannot replace those chips. And that sucks. I swear this sucks. It's not even negotiating the the voltage in my charger. Uh, this is so bad. This is the, I, I, I I said you know what the first laptop. Okay, that chip from China was burned, but this one the the DH one, you know I kind of expected to work. And it didn't work, and I ordered the DJ one, and even with the DJ one, it's doing exactly the same thing. Now, let's check the, the memory voltage, yeah, because it has a memory here. You can see on the screen, 3.3. <laughs> so, you see, this chip is fine. I mean, even the, the main power relic should be present, you know. 
the the EC chip should have voltage. Let's check together. Let's check together. So the EC chip, which is this one, it's an IT chip. Let's check the the main power rail, which has to be probably somewhere here. Check on the screen. Check on the screen. Three point two. You can see. 3.3, 3.299. So my chip is good, but it's not speaking with the charger. It's not speaking with anyone. It's not speaking with anyone. Let's try to press the power button. I really doubt anything it will happen. Where is the power button? Here. No, nothing. Nothing. I can press the, the button, nothing will happen. You know what? The button is kind of funny. But still, I can feel it clicking. <laughs> Let me see the other port. The other port is not even working. So this is a port issue, clearly. Yeah? The original chip, it was burned. The power, the, the, the EC... Uh, LDO was missing. LDO voltage. <sighs> okay, this sucks. I swear this sucks. This sucks because we can't fix it. That's the problem. What's the story with these chips? I, I mean, we, we should ask, you know, different people, they know what's going on with this chip. Huh? How we can program this chip? Okay, let me remove it one more time and check. Yeah. Uh, let's check the solders, yeah? Let's check the pins. How they got soldered. I'm pretty sure they are soldered fine. But let's check to be sure. LOL What is this? That's bad Just try to forget you've seen this on my videos, yeah? Try to forget, you've seen it on a different video, not here Yeah? Oh here, no, 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 no Not here, you didn't see that here you can't see that here, you know, not, you know, sorry, he has like freaking a life experience on soldering and uh, he's doing like pretty unique jobs like replacing a chipset with the hot air and things like that. So you cannot see something like that on his videos. Huh? Clearly you didn't see this here. You are confused. Good. Good. Perfect. Come on. Okay, let's try one more time. You didn't see it here on my channel, yeah? You're confused. Okay, let's do it one more time. You know, I don't like this tweezer. One second.
Good? Yeah, hopefully it's fine now. I can't believe. I can't believe. <sighs> Don't tell anyone, yeah? I will never admit it. Okay, that's fine. Let's connect the battery. Let's plug the charger. We have the charging light. That's insane. And it's taking 2.4 amps. I can't believe. I can't believe it's working. This power on. Hmm? Let's power on. That's sick. That freaking solder, bro. I can't believe. Freaking finally when I see this ISL working on a laptop. I can't believe. That's crazy. It's taking 2.4 amps and we have the, the orange light. You can see it there. That's insane. And this port is working also. 2.4 amps. Yeah. That's crazy. It's working. I can't believe. I was uh, I was thinking, you know, okay, this ship this ship is it's a complex ship. If you see the data sheet, you will get scared. But why is it not coming on? Okay, it's charging. That's fine. That's an improvement, but nothing. I press the power button, nothing happened. I swear the power button is faulty, you know? Let's let's take out and check. I think I don't know. Maybe it's not working because the battery is too discharged. Probably not. That's crazy! I can't believe actually I seen this chip working on a laptop. So indeed, the DH one is not working uh, in a replacement for the DJ. So you have to buy the DJ, which is supporting Thunderbolt 3. Just have in mind. Otherwise, you'll do this. Okay, it's coming on. One second. I done nothing. I done nothing. Let's see picture. The fan is spinning. Probably we reset the BIOS here. We disconnect the battery, so we have to wait a little bit. We have picture. We have pi I can't believe it. It's loading the windows. Wow. Wow. Hmm? Yeah, this is an Asus Zenbook. The other laptop which I done it was um, was a Dell. Strange. So the laptop died doing updates. <laughs> That's strange. That's strange. <laughs> okay, let's wait and let's check the power button, yeah? Of course, I will not... Uh, look at the keyboard. Look how the keyboard is doing. Probably it's doing some firmware update. I just want to press the power button to see the button is working. Unbelievable. Look at the keyboard. It's flashing. Oh, it's doing updates again. The battery has the yellow sign on it. You can see. And the keyboard is flashing. Okay, that's strange. Because it's too discharged. Or why? Yeah, it is charging fine. 2.4 amps. No problem. Let's try to press the power button. Yeah, the, bu the button is good, yeah? So we open this for nothing. Actually, the power button, it is good. It was not coming on because the battery was too discharged. Just have in mind. Uh, let's put back the screws. Good. Let's try one more time. Pressing the... Okay, it is coming on straight away. 
the keyboard is not flashing but the yellow sign on the battery is still there yeah so let me check let me check a little bit what's the story yeah because probably it's login details here okay let me wait a little bit for the battery to charge you can clearly see it's charging yeah 2.4 amps 14 volts this chip is decent i mean warm okay just see you probably like 10 minutes let's let's let the laptop charge a little bit but it is charging one second i believe that power goes on into the the battery right 638 Three nine forty forty one forty two yeah it is charging yeah see in ten minutes so we are like fifteen minutes later I left the laptop on and the laptop was doing an update what do you think happened after the update now the negotiating voltage is nineteen volts you remember before it was like fourteen volts with two point five amps now it's nineteen volts with two point one amps and what do you think oh wait. I was looking at the screen and you can see on the screen the light is flashing it's not it's not flashing so if, if you check if i'm looking at the light it's not flashing at all anyway you can see the charging sign so we have no yellow sign on the battery i can unplug it yeah and you can see it has a normal uh, battery sign i can plug it back and it's charging fine so you see this is uh, this is the moment where actually the hardware meets software the insane i mean i left the laptop it was doing an update and after the update we don't have 14 volts here we have 19 volts and the battery yellow sign goes away crazy because this memory chip you see it is looking like a bios chip this is connect the straight to this chip the pd controller okay so i'll stop this video now i'm happy i fixed the laptop i'm happy but anyway if you have this uh yeah don't do the same mistake like me i mean if you ask yourself probably you ask yourself right if the other chip was soldered properly yeah it was and i can show you i can show you it was soldered properly yeah I mean, I soldered and desoldered this chip a few times. You remember on the other laptop and this laptop? Yeah. You can clearly see it was soldered properly. But it's not working. If you have DJ at the end, you need a DJ. It will not work with DH. This is DH. Okay? That's fantastic. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And don't forget, we have a forum, yeah? You have a link under the description. Just go on the forum, register. If you have a problem, you can ask there. Or if you can help the others, you can ask to, uh, to their questions there. Okay? It's just, you know, a place where we, community, we are meeting together there. So see you on the next one. Bye.